Morning, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meadsy69. Welcome back to some more OP replays. We have two replays, and the first one is the T110E5. We also have a nice Leopard 1. Uh, so, Normandy, and we are watching Walk uh, driving the E5. Now, the E5 is a fantastic tank. Uh, not many people like it so much now after, it been, uh, after it's been buffed, uh, but it's still a fantastic tank tank is still a fantastic tank that can do a lot of damage and that can hold its own and can carry so he is going to the right side of the map probably the best uh, side on with this tank because it's got the gun depression it's got a very nice turret so you need to sit really sit on a on, on a ridge it's got nice speed and it's got pretty nice dpm as well and as you can see there holding a ridge line with this tank is really really good however you you can still be penetrated from uh, in this tank when you are in the hold down position so don't just sit there in like one spot make sure you are moving sort of backwards and backwards and forwards side to side moving your turret and then it will make it a lot more difficult for the enemy to be able to penetrate you uh, so not not a great uh, move there for the uh, for the the t62 and he got uh, a nice shot into him but he needs to be careful now because if you look around here the light tanks have started to uh, to get around into their spawn area and most of these tanks are still in the spawn area so uh, it's not looking too good for his team at the moment but the uh, the t62a bales there is the chieftain as well and now you can see more tanks are being spotted to the left side the object the yo and now they can push forward because we know that now the only tank destroyer on the enemy team is not sat at the back of this map camping so they can push this uh, this chieftain quite comfortably and probably not uh, be he's probably got no support the t62a was he's our only support and now he is dead uh, so he's going to face hug this guy it's not an easy tank to come up against an e5 when you are face hugging it um but of course with the dpm as well uh, but the chieftain has got really good dpm and he's still penetrating him he's only bounced 400 damage so far so he hasn't bounced too much but he is on 2.5k damage now the thing with the chieftain it has got a weak hatch unfortunately he does miss that shot uh, but now obviously with so many tanks around this side of the the map against this chieftain he's not going to last too much longer and now they can head back towards their spawn as you can see the grill is going to be in a lot of trouble hopefully Hopefully he can take care of the Vickers who is a one shot. There is still the object 704 that is full hit points and there is a few other tanks here. So he's going to go back into the hold down position um, but this side, this time this side of the, the hill and it's like I said it's a great uh, great tank when you are able to, to hold these positions and he gets a nice shot. So 3.2k damage done at the moment and he's going to get a nice side shot into that object 704. Uh, so it is a 3 versus uh, 5 at the moment and that 50 50 TP is now getting absolutely rushed, but he does, however, take out the Vickers, which is crucial. It's a light tank, uh, it's got DPM, and it can be a very, it can be a nuisance. Now, personally, I probably wouldn't have gone for that shot there on the object 704, even though now he is a one shot. Uh, for me, he's not the most dangerous target. The most dangerous target is, of course, the light tanks and the two heavy tanks, because that guy doesn't have a turret. However, there are, uh, now, there goes the T92E1, and now is probably, now that the object 704 is a one shot, you may as well take him out. Um, and there's just uh, the two yo's to go. So he is going to go for the object 704, so well played there. And he is now alone against both of these tanks. So if both of these tanks push together, then it could be uh, not so good for him. And that was a troll bounce. Now, again, I probably... Would you have gone for that? Maybe because he is the lower hit point tank. Um, even though he's tier 9, both of these tanks are equally as good. Both Yo's are equally as good. they both got the same kind of gun. So probably going for that lower hit point tank is uh, is crucial in trying to clear one of these guys. And again, that was a nice bounce there from the Yo. Is he going to be able to get another shot? Not quite. Uh, but none of these guys seem to be uh, trying to push. This Yo down here, he's the one that's almost 
sort of full hit points, he's the one that should be pushing, and they could they should really be pushing together because at the minute he's up the he's up the hill. He's got the uh, he's got some shots downwards onto these guys. Yes, he is uh, bouncing, but he's also getting the bounces as well. So so far he's on six thousand damage, and now we think that the uh, yo is reloading, and now he's uh, now he decides to make his move. So is he going to drop down? Probably not dropping down is good. Um, staying up is is the best choice. Uh, six point four k damage again. He's going to try and get on those ridge lines. I'm hoping that the tier nine yo don't push first because that would just be absolutely stupid. And uh, unfortunately, it's not. It is the uh, the tier 10 yo and again he does manage to get a nice shot into him uh, without taking any shots in return and this is what I mean like don't just sit there if this yo was moving backwards and forwards side to side then that would have probably been a difficult uh, pen but he just sat there and our guy in the E5 just easily managed to get that shot on the hatch and again the exact same thing so the yo has probably got one shell left I'm not sure what gun he's uh, he's using but he is a one shot and you can see he can just he's just making it easy the 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 yo's have just made it easy for our guy in the e5 but nevertheless uh 7.8k damage now and it is just a one versus one where has this yo gone we know he was around here somewhere but with a minute and uh, 20 seconds left on the clock where has this guy gone we know he probably wouldn't have gone to the left side he would have come this side and that just makes me think like why why didn't he push with the other yo they should have pushed together if they would have pushed together they would have been able if they're using the two shell gun both of them they would have been able to clear this e5 if they would have pushed together uh, but yeah they both separated the full hit point tank was uh, the one to push and the one that is on very low hit points is he just decided to, to run away uh, but we have finally managed to find him and there we go he can take a few shots here but he does get another bounce and it what turns out he is actually using the uh, the bigger gun so he's now on a reload so our guy in the e5 mr walk can just poke forward and get a nice kill with just 30 seconds left on the clock so well played nice uh, block damage there and 8400 damage with 184,000 credits earned so well played walk uh, so next up so we've had the E5, and now we're going to watch a Leopard 1. As you know, the Leopard 1 is my my favourite tank in the game. Played correctly, it is absolutely amazing. It's got everything going for it, apart from armour. Um, but everything else, it's got accuracy, it's got aim time, it's got DPM, it's got alpha, it's got gun depression, it's got everything. Speed, it's got literally everything except for armour. And that's why I truly love this tank, because because it's got no armor it's unlike most of the other tier 10 mediums who have at least got something they maybe got some whole armor or they've got some turret armor this literally has nothing um so that makes you have to play the tank a bit different that makes you think uh makes you have to think a bit different as to where you're going to go you can't just go onto these ridge lines because they're going to be able to penetrate you uh you can't really do things like what the uh, like a t62a or something like that can do where they can hold the ridge they can use their gun depression but they've got a strong turret this doesn't and it makes you think have to think about what you're going to do and where you're going to go god knows what this sheridan is doing he is sniping um but you know we don't need the sheridan so cosmo He's going to sit back, and that's the thing with this tank. It's good at sniping. It is good at sniping, and if you can get around the map, and depending on what the enemy do, like sort of go opposite to them. If they all go left, then of course go right. Um, even if you even if it's not the way you're supposed to go but try and trade from distance with this tank because it has fantastic accuracy it's got good aim time and if they're not moving you can really bully these tanks because of that dpm that it's got and of course you don't want to be spotted and you don't want to be shot especially from those big guns because your hit points will just vanish so now there is the sheridan there is the leopard one he gets a, a lucky troll bounce there from the leopard one who is now a one shot now is he going to go back and help his team here probably the best choice to be honest to help the to try and get rid of this leopard and to try and get rid of this sheridan so there is his first kill 1.7k damage and now he is after this sheridan so it is now a seven versus five that was uh, an, an unlucky miss there on the sheridan uh, is he going to push now we know that four of the tanks well now all five of the tanks have been spotted so he knows where he can go and he knows who he can attack so the next one on his list is this 60 tp so he's going to attack him he's always trying to hide he's not giving the 60 tp 
be an easy target and of course he does have some tanks around with the IS-7 here helping as well and as, as soon as the IS-7 comes around he waits for the 60 TP to, to shoot and while he's on a reload and this is where you can poke forward you can shoot the 60 TP comfortably twice before he's reloaded and that is exactly what he's going to do and then he's going to get out of the way he's going to let the IS-7 go he's going to wait for the 60 TP to shoot and then he's going to do exact same thing but the Sheridan is here as well there goes the shot and now he can poke forward and get the shell out it is a four versus five and there is still a lot of hit points to to go and he does manage to get that shot and the is7 clears the 60 tp so that is now the biggest gun on the enemy team gone which is a, a positive for their team it is a four versus four he is however still full hit points he's on 4k damage and still full hit points but remember even though you're full hit points the your hit points can absolutely vanish if uh, something like a crime wagon and if he can get to the side of you or to the rear of you and use his sort of three shells with he even the pajero doing the same can still do 400 damage per shot and um, with the with the crime wagon it can do even more so i love the fact that he's looking around the map now he knows that the crime wagon is on his own isolated against this e100 so he's going to push the crime wagon he's trying he's going to try and clear him and he is willing to take a shot or two to clear this tank and that's why he is pushing gets the one shot now he's going to let the e100 go so i love the fact even this late in the game he's still looking at saving his hit points he's not looking at wasting any of his hit points because you never know they might be needed later on so now it is just a four versus three the is7 is being rushed by uh, the is7 and a budget is going around however we don't quite know where the sheridan is gone out oh, there he is he is behind but he's still pretty much full hit points so now he's again he's going to go for the other most dangerous target whilst the is 7s not looking at him and not paying attention that that is a, the best target to go for it's a dangerous target with great armor and to clear this guy is a, an absolute must and he does that for his second kill so 6k damage and now just two tanks left alive and again i would have probably gone for the pajero here because he is the lower hit point tar uh, tank he's got more dpm and he's just more dangerous than the Sheridan. And he's pretty much a one shot. So, but he's gone for the Sheridan instead. The Sheridan is not, uh, it doesn't have the DPM. Of course, he might be able to inflict a lot of damage to the Leopard, especially if he's shooting HE. But then he's got a massive 14, 15 second reload. And when you get a bounce like that, that was very lucky. And now he can just absolutely bully this Sheridan. It is a two versus two. And now it is just a two versus one. And just the Bajetto left to go. So now he's pretty much full hit points now's the time he can just go forward doesn't matter about getting shot he can get shot no problem whatsoever it doesn't matter because this guy is now a one shot and he should be able to clear him nice and easy so that is now four kills and just over eight thousand damage he manages to bounce 900 damage that game which is pretty good for a leopard one but nonetheless a fantastic game 8048 nice amount of credits there as well 1800 base xp the enemy project did a decent job uh not too bad to be honest the whole teams they done all right apart from obviously the enemy leopard and the enemy fosh uh they didn't do too bad but nevertheless a fantastic game i always love to see a nice game there in the leopard one so i hope you enjoyed it guys i'm meadzy 69 and i'll catch you all soon bye bye